Hello, it's Nikki Cottom again, and um, I'm really excited about this. So um, I'm just starting to get an office put together. And so I'm really excited about this. This was an old entertainment area. And um, anyways, it's kind of fun, kind of fun to, to put all these different components in here. Anyways, make an office. Um, I'm really excited about this. Oh. So anyway, today I wanted to talk about quite a few things, like <clears throat> announcements I've skipped over for a long time, and just let's get back to reality, okay? Um, right before we dive into the holiday season, right? So kind of some grounding before this all happens. So first of all, the essential oils in the Bible class um, that will be offered um, online um, will also be recorded. And that recording, um, I will send out in an email. So if you don't get emails from me, let me know um, if you're interested in getting the recording of that class. Um, right now I'm charging for it because um, I'm building a wellness clinic. And so it's one way that I'm able to um, have people contribute to this holistic fertility clinic that I'm working on building. Okay, the next thing is, okay, so I promised I would do this recipe. Okay, so this recipe, thanks Mariah for joining us. Uh, this recipe is for if you really just can't can't take the sickness, you don't have time for it or whatever, and you need to just recover really quick. Um, there's issues going around like bacterial infections and things called, you know, that rhyme with uh, step float and um, all sorts of um, other viruses and bacteria that sound like dinosaurs. Um, respiratory stuff, okay? So we um, want to kick those out of our system, right? We don't want them hanging around. And in fact, using essential oils proactively before the symptoms start or even at the very beginning of experiencing a symptom can be a great way to just bypass a lot of the stress, okay? So I'm gonna be talking about a recipe today um, that I'm calling my Kick Sick Quick um, blend. And I've given it out to a couple people already whose families are um, struggling with some, some respiratory issues. So I'm going to be giving that today and showing you how to make it. And also ask the coach. Ask the coach is coming back as promised. Um, next Tuesday evening will be the first evening. So the 27th of, this, of November will be the first um, evening um, that I'm going to be doing Ask the Coach again. And it's going to be 6 p.m. Uh, Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Central Time. And I'm going to be doing that. So basically come with your essential oil questions, concerns. Um, and I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live here. And the Facebook Live is going to... Um, Okay. The essential, uh, the Facebook Live is only going to be for people who are part of this group because people are going to be asking um, questions that are private to themselves, and I don't want um, any any of this, you know, publicly you know, all over Facebook, right? So it will be private to this group. Come with your questions and concerns. You'll type those in the the uh, the comment bar during the Facebook Live, and I'll answer those, and then you can ask any follow-up questions as well. So that's coming back, so put that on your calendar. I'll create an event for that. Okay, the other thing is I'm really planning to do an unboxing of the new holiday products, and I haven't done one yet because the day I was going, the day I got the products, which is usually when I do the unboxing, um, was also the, the day of one of my best friend's funeral, so it didn't quite work out, um, but, I am planning on doing that soon because Harvest Spice, I want to talk about that and Dream and Radiant and, and the new diffusers and, and that type of thing. Um, I really want to talk about those. Okay, let's get to um, the recipe in case I, um, in case I, think. oh, and enjoy the BOGOs this week because these BOGOs are so amazing. Um, so definitely keep up on those, the, the BOGOs going on <clears throat> because it's buy one product, get another one completely free. And if you put it, <clears throat> sorry, if you get another 
LRP order going, you can technically, um, I think if it's a second LRP order, you should be able to create it, order, and then cancel it in the same day. And that way you still get all the shipping points reimbursed to you um, in PV. So maybe you can, you know, add, use it on your next, you know, whole order. Um, or if you wanted to add anything to your BOGO order, you could. Anyway, so enjoy those BOGOs. This is such a fun time of the year. Okay, let me get into the recipe now. Okay, so one thing, as I was thinking about this recipe. Apple, Mommy. What? Apple. Mm. What do you have? You want something out? You want this out? Okay. So uh, my oldest did my youngest hair today. Um, so one thing I was thinking about when I was getting ready to do this Facebook Live, I was kind of meditating and I'm thinking, okay, so we want to get sick really fast. And there are blends to definitely help us do that and single oils to help us do that. Apple but mommy. what is the purpose of us being sick? What, what do we learn? What? Apple? Uh -huh. Okay, wait till I'm done, okay? Then I'll get you an apple. Uh, there are definitely things that um, we should probably learn when we're sick. So, for example, when my children are sick, which is really the worst, because then I feel guilty because I'm not doing what I want to do, and um, I'm feeling guilty because um, they're not doing what I want them to be doing. They're not playing and, and stuff like that. When they're sick, it's a, a teaching moment for me. It's an opportunity for me to slow down and say, okay, I'm going to give you love. I'm gonna nurture you, I'm gonna take care of you, I'm gonna baby you, you're mine, I wanna show you how precious you are. Because how many opportunities do we get that? To really just snuggle our babies and tell them we love them, pamper them with oils, you know, spend a really good quality time with them. How often do we get that? Not, not very often. So anyways, it's well, <clears throat> for some of us, you might be doing a really, <clears throat> Good job. I need lavender on my throat. Um, but for others of us, it might just be that um, we, we have a, a busy life. We're working or we're, we have all these projects going, all these responsibilities, maybe some emotional stuff that we're dealing with. So we feel like we can't take care of them or whatever. And so we get in this, um, this rut and sickness can help us just pull back and say, okay, I, I, I can take the time for my kids because they need it. There's no way around it. So I'm going to enjoy the moment. And believe it or not, when they're taken care of and they're feeling our love, it almost doesn't matter <clears throat> whether they're feeling sick or well. When they get that attention, it means the world to them. So if you get that opportunity, take it as a sign that it's time to spend more time with your baby, okay? All right, so let's get into the blend because really we do want this issue cleared up as fast as possible, like within three days, right? So I have this story. Um, it's about when I, a couple of years ago, went to a family member's house for Christmas and we all came down with the same bacterial infection, okay? And um, it's a respiratory infection, one that's very common this time of year. And um, something that you can go get tested for and get an antibiotic for. Okay, but it was Christmas and we didn't want to, you know, it's like Christmas Eve and here we are all hacking up along and we're all miserable. And um, I happen to have these oils with me. And so I was inspired and made this blend and put this blend together and I just set it on the kitchen counter and I said, okay, anybody who wants to use this, um, it's right here. Use it like every time you walk past it, every time you walk past it to go to the bathroom, every time you, you know, just keep putting it on, just roll it right on your neck. And I had a roller bottle with me. I don't know why or how, but I did. <laughs> Maybe it was a recycled one, but I, but I kept it there and you know, it was amazing. The people who, so it was Christmas the next day. So we were all rolling it on on Christmas and which is kind of a sad time to be sick, but you know, we gotta do something. So here it is, and we're we're all rolling it on our throats, <laughs> staying at family members out of state. And it's interesting. The people who chose to um, roll the roller on and do it several times a day, yeah. at least, that the, you know, after Christmas was over, went to the doctor and tested negatively for this bacterial infection. 
and was like, no, it looks like you might, you're probably on the mend. You're, you know, and it was one day. Okay. And they were already on the mend already, you know, and two of them went to the doctor and this happened. Okay. Then, you know, it, one, one person was like, no, that's crazy. I'm not going to do that. Went to the doctor, did have the, you know, respiratory issue. Um, and so it's just amazing what happens when we really proactively kick this illness. So here's the recipe. The recipe is um, 10 drops of clove, six drops of oregano, four, 10 drops of frankincense, four drops of melaleuca, three drops of ginger, and if you have yarrow, add three drops of yarrow, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing um, for this is I'm gonna be actually using an old, an old lavender um, roller. Okay, and just taking the roller off. I love the doTERRA. I love the doTERRA rollers. Oops. Um, because the doTERRA rollers, the silver um, stainless steel ball in there gives like the perfect amount to go on wherever you need to roll it on. Okay, so I love these rollers. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting it in here. And then the rest of, this is a 10 mil. You can do it with a five mil too, but if you're using it on kids, I would recommend um, either using it on their feet um, or using it, um, making sure you have um, coconut oil on hand to dilute because the oregano, the clove, and the ginger are gonna be slightly hot in there, which is why I'm putting this recipe in a 10 mil roller and then filling the rest up with fractionated coconut oil in a five mil bottle works too, or a recycled um, five mil, you know, regular essential oil bottle that you're not using anymore. That's where I have a tendency to make blends, especially for my family, because they're not going to care that the bottle looks pretty. Um, so uh, here, here's how we're going to do it. Okay, you want to hold this for me? Okay, keep it right there. Okay, so we're going to take um, clove first, and we're going to put um, 10 drops of clove essential oil. Clove is also very festive for this season. All right, so we're gonna put 10 drops of clove and then get ready for the next one, which is oregano. And um, you're gonna smell like these, but that's okay, because you're gonna kick, kick the junk a lot faster. In fact, I think um, when we used this, it was within just a few days that we were all completely better. And my friend, my relatives who got a, uh, got, careful, careful, got the uh, antibiotic for it, you know, it took them the whole two weeks. So um, I'm really excited when we can use something and it works really, really great. So I just put six drops of oregano, 10 drops of clove, six oregano. This is frankincense, another 10 drops. Okay, 10 drops of frankincense there. We're on to Melaleuca, four drops of that. And um, so let me explain a little bit about these oils. I have to get out my new bottle of Melaleuca. Okay, so four drops, got four drops in there, perfect. Um, and ginger. And I'm gonna explain why these oils um, as I'm rolling it all over myself. Okay, and then because I do have yarrow, I'm gonna use yarrow, and it's gonna make it kind of a bluish color, so if you're using a clear bottle, it would be cool to see the blue. See, look how blue that is. Okay, and so I'm just, <clears throat> so I'm gonna put three drops of yarrow. Yarrow sometimes takes a while to come out. Okay, so the reason um, I'm adding yarrow to the recipe this year is because it has extremely powerful um, immune support properties, like extremely. In fact, this is what I should be rubbing on my throat, right? For my scratchy voice. <laughs> um, so uh, yarrow just came out. There are a lot of qualities about it. I've done videos on it. So go back and, to my YouTube channel and find those. Um, so, and then I'm just gonna fill the rest up with fractionated coconut oil. And I'm doing this now for you and also because we're really getting deep, like almost knee deep into the cold and flu season. So um, but to have this on hand, just to proactively be using it when we're starting to come down with kind of like a little cough or whatever is going to be awesome. And of course, as always, I drop things on the floor when I make um, rollers. 
Okay, so I can either take this lavender label off and just put like an address label um, with my own info on, uh, kick it quick, or I can just remember it. <laughs> Um, and sometimes I'll put the address label on top if I'm too lazy to peel back the uh, the label here. But that's how you that's how you do it. Mix it up. Okay. Then just roll it on. Um, roll it on as much as you want. Every hour, every two hours. It really depends on <clears throat> the severity. Uh, yesterday I felt like I was coming down with something, and I started to develop this really wretched cough. And I put these oils on, not in the roller, but the yarrow really adds an interesting twist to it, uh, the smell. Uh, so I put I put it on my throat, and then I took oregano internally, and and uh, didn't have the the cough anymore. Uh, so I'm I'm glad that I have these oils, but I mean to have these all the time is really really awesome. So I'm really happy about um, this blend. I've had a lot of success with it. And I'm just really happy to be able to have this and use it. So that's how you make it. Now let me describe why each of these oils <clears throat> very, very briefly. Okay, so clove, clove essential oil. Clove essential oil uh, has properties that are good for setting clear boundaries. Um, boundaries with our immune system. We're, we're not going to take that or um, we're going to stop that now. Uh, boundaries as far as family members, emotional boundaries, all, I mean, you're getting the emotional and the physical benefits of these oils using it, okay? And putting it on the throat, that's the entry, kind of the entry point into the respiratory system, can set the boundary saying we're not going past here, um, you know, we're, we're taking care of it. Um, okay, so the oregano, the oregano emotionally, um, <laughs> Emotionally, oregano helps with um, setting um, and it being unattached, unattached from the outcome, letting letting go of the pride, letting go of that. It's also extremely antipathogenic, just like clove is. So they're gonna kick unless it's very very fast. Um, then you have um, frankincense, which is an all-encompassing immune support boost. Um, it's very, very good and powerful on the immune system. It also helps us to emotionally see the big picture, see what maybe what God's trying to tell us in something, and it's just great for the immune system. Okay, ginger, the reason that, that I chose ginger in here was because that's really good for clearing up congestion, okay? That's often a big issue with those respiratory issues is all the gunk and the congestion that's built up. And also ginger is the oil of empowerment. So it can make us, help us feel empowered to fight off the illness, okay? Um, the reason for melaleuca, melaleuca is another one for setting boundaries, um, especially boundaries, um, emotional boundaries. Um, so I'm going to set this clear boundary for my emotional wellness and needs, and I will have my needs met, okay? So uh, that's melaleuca. Also very mild, um, a mild oil to the skin, but a powerful oil in terms of fighting off, you know, all sorts of pathogens as well. It's kind of like a a dumbed down oregano is kind of what I call it. Um, and then last but not least, the yarrow in it, I was talking about um, it, it emotionally can help us bring down our scattered energy, um, our crazy energy, and just help us just be calm, see things for what they are, um, and, and all that. So using this, and I already feel better. In fact, my sinuses are feeling like they're going to start draining soon, so I probably have something going on, um, something that hasn't flared up wildly yet. So this is something that would be really beneficial to keep on hand in your purse if it's just you or in a prominent place on your counter. Label it. Um, it's a really short, short name, Kick, Sick, Quick, Blend. Um, and so I would recommend doing that and um, roll it on as often as you need to. Okay. If it's a newborn, um, the, the pads of the toes are going to be for, for the, uh, the sinuses and then, um, the, you know, kind of right underneath the, the right in the top part of the ball of the foot, um, you're going to get like the long points and stuff too. So, um, so rub, rub it on those areas. You can find the 
reflexology maps elsewhere. But anyways, hopefully that helps um, with that. So I will post the recipe um, separately so that you can use that for quick reference. But I'm glad that you joined me for this video. Thanks so much. And um, yeah, be in touch as far as um, if you're interested in being part of the uh, the ask the coach. Okay, Melaleuca is fine. <laughs> I was careful I wasn't oregano. Um, so, uh, anyways, ask the coach is coming up and it's going to be awesome. So, if you have any essential oil questions or you're like, this is my situation, what oils would you recommend? Uh, let me know and um, on the ask the coach and I would be happy to answer those for you. So thanks so much for being part of this Tidbit Tuesday with me today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I actually have protocols that I'm doing coming up. Um, I really want to do a, a, a what, what did I call it, um, a comfortable pregnancy uh, protocol as well as a uh, fertility protocol and um, with essential oils and, and the doTERRA vitamins and stuff like that so that you know what things would be best if you want a, an extremely more pleasant outcome than possibly before. So, um, yeah, okay. So thanks so much for watching and it's been wonderful seeing you on here and um, keep in touch. I love you.